What more inspiration do you need than stopping Manchester City from winning the title potentially? Chris is saying he's making mistakes. I don't remember a mistake that Edison has made. Oh, come on. Yeah, but they say form is temporary and class is permanent, and that is the case with David De Gea. He's proven it over a number of years. The fact that Manchester United uh, probably don't want Liverpool to win the league is going to help Manchester City as well. <laughs>Well, big game on Wednesday night in the Premier League. It is huge in terms of both the title and the battle for the top four. Manchester United against Manchester City in the derby. Chris is going to be fighting the corner of Manchester United. Aidan believes that City will come out on top. Well, it's been a difficult week for Manchester United, to say the least, Chris. Topped off by a shocking performance in that 4-0 uh, defeat at Everton. Can they bounce back? Yeah, that's a season-changing performance, isn't it? Yeah, they were woeful against Everton. But what more inspiration do you need than stopping Manchester City from winning the title, potentially, to raise your game? And this is Manchester United's fixture. They have won the derby 21 more times than Manchester City. And you think back to last season, City going for the title, Manchester United turned them over. It's going to be United's night. What about City then? They've not necessarily, Aidan, been firing all cylinders of late. They've just been getting enough done to get the wins that they need. Will they be able to turn up and do it on their rival's own patch? Yeah, I mean, I think they will. They've proven in the last few weeks that they can win in different ways. They're not just battering teams like they were earlier in the season. The 1-0 win over Tottenham was a bit hard for. They've had other games like that recently as well. The fact that Manchester United uh, probably don't want Liverpool to win the league is going to help Manchester City as well <laughs> because, you know, City, it, it just plays into their hands. I, I think they've got far too much quality. Some players can't even get a game like Leroy Sane every week, Gabriel Jesus, uh, Riyad Mahrez. They are that good. They've got so much quality. Raheem Sterling, Sergio Aguero in brilliant form. It's City all the way. Well, I have to say, I'm going to edge towards Aiden because I just think uh, their form, City at the moment, going into this is just going to be too strong for Manchester United. 1-0 then to City. The second focus that we're going to have a look at, though, is at opposite ends of the pitch. David De Gea against Edison. De Gea was clearly the best goalkeeper in the Premier League, Chris, over the past couple of seasons, up until probably the last few weeks where mistakes have started to creep in. Yeah, but they say form is temporary and class is permanent, and that is the case with David De Gea. He's proven it over a number of years for Manchester United. He's been the top goalkeeper in the Premier League for the last four years running. And yes, he's had a bad game or two, but he's still above Edison. He's still got more than enough to stop this City front line. And Aidan's going to argue that Edison has been in good form of late, but he's made a few mistakes and I think nerves are creeping in to Edison. Well, I just wonder with Edison, all the changes that have happened at centre-back for City, may that make him a little bit uncomfortable going into the derby? <laughs> Chris is saying he's making mistakes. I don't remember a mistake that Edison has made. Oh, come on. He, he, he distrib his distribution is brilliant. He can start attacks, set, set City up for, for brilliant attacks on the counter-attack swiftly. Um, I don't remember a, a clangor that he's made to let in a goal. I think he's really confident. He's, he's absolutely brilliant. How you can think that he's above, uh, how De Gea is above Edison is beyond me. I think Ed, uh, Edison is probably the best keeper in the league. No, well, I have to say, I'm going to edge towards De Gea. I think he still has the quality uh, between the posts and I think that he'll want to bounce back after what wasn't a great performance from him individually against Everton on Sunday. Last but not least, at the other end of the pitch, what about the attacking threat that these two teams pose? Uh, United have had some problems of late up front, uh, Chris, in the last few weeks, but they still have that quality to cause anybody problems. Yeah, they've got plenty of quality, haven't they? And you cast your mind back to this fixture last season. Paul Pogba raised his game massively, top scorer for United at the minute. Can see him doing something similar as well. They've got Rashford, Lukaku, Martial, all quality players to get a City backline that's looked a bit dodgy. And at home, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, they always find the back of the net Manchester. United so I think against the City back line they could well return to form and what about City they have looked imperious going forward at times Aidan and in particular Raheem Sterling and Sergio Aguero look like the real threat I think Raheem Sterling's having the season of his life absolutely outstanding Sergio Aguero loads of goals from him that'll be the main men again for City Bernardo Silva though has been brilliant in recent weeks so there's them three that will probably start then as backup someone like David Silva to come on He's a big game player, experienced player, and then also the likes of Sane if you need him, Gabriel Jesus. 
The City's quality is in depth. It's so much greater than Manchester United. Yeah, I do think the squad depth is just going to edge me towards City here, I have to say. I do think the form and the depth overall is just nudging above Manchester United. So I'm going to go 2-1 in terms of City. Score predictions from our guys here. What do you think, Chris? Rashford hat trick, 3-1 Manchester United. And um, what about uh, you, Aidan? Comfortable 2-0 win for City. OK, that's their thoughts and my thoughts. What about you? The big game on Wednesday night at Old Trafford. Manchester United against Manchester City.